power and perception, improving your strengths. Forget about your distractions and obstacles. You will only achieve greatness by overcoming adversity. I often place emphasis whereupon many ladies find uncertainty. At this point within your life, I'm sure that you understand what distraction is. Give yourself some credit. Unlike men, ladies, irregardless of age, you are intuitively capable of discovering solutions. As with many problems, the solution usually lies within. It is common for humans to fail to use reason. Logical reasoning requires focus initially, and that can be intrusive. Too many people are content with normality. Collectively understanding the engineering patterns of conformity will help you. We live in an overall society that is structured specifically for male dominance. You must utilize resources which will produce results, thereby determining a course of action. The impact of societal standards that you value will indeed affect the outcome. That is either regression or progression. Always seek to resolve any undesired pattern, especially thereupon executing from all realists behavioral notion. For the untruths and irrationality are seldom subdued. A healthy mindset is key. Strategic balance is another requirement for success. Truthfully, many women are unaware of what success really means. That is simply because the definitive meaning of the word itself bears not a partial reference, case in point. The term greatness is merely defined by the obstacles of which a person does overcome. You must grow to learn that your own version of attaining success is influenced by your dislikes. Henceforth, the regressive factoring and occurrence. It all creates balance. Whereas, you will endure the hardships and the potential benefits emotionally as well. The initial step toward discovering a peace for fulfillment begins with a common principle. This common principle is called self-acceptance. The human psyche will work in your favor. There is a fundamental type of universal law that applies to each self-made individual. The cliched phrase suggesting that what the mind can conceive, it can achieve, actually holds true. Perhaps the most difficult problem for yourself is identifying the problem. Typically, the aforementioned will lead into self-imposed trials of duress. As in many cases, the problem might seem unsolvable. The problem is you. And until you are able to really concentrate, then your problem shall remain. Feminine energy tends to draw itself inward. This means that your natural intuition may become your worst enemy. Women are programmed in such a way that deters oneself into psychological abandonment. In other words, a lack of knowledge may cause you to evoke self-pity. Do not degrade yourself in doing this. Instead, you must, however, view your situation from alternative viewpoints. Our situations rarely are as destructive as we interpret them to be. When you gain control of your own thoughts, then you will have value over your true abilities. The mind is bombarded constantly with threats of uncertainties. 
do yourself a favor by allowing room for growth. Take a few moments of solitude. I encourage this, even if it must be taken by force. We are dealing with something very fragile, your state of consciousness. Take deep breaths, then ask yourself where you would like to be in this life. What would make you a happier woman? I urge you to relate these thoughts strictly unto yourself. Nobody else is capable of achieving your success other than you. You must forcefully rid the mind of any thoughts pertaining to failure. Because failure, depending upon your outlook, can either make or break your will. And failure, when fearfully perceived, can adjust the level of temperament for the inclination of success. You must understand the difference that is both failure and success, but your personalized interpretation thereof rather. Everything that you think and believe is your perception. Anything of value in accordance of what you favor and deem as passive is how you perceive things. So you could literally think your way towards success but there is a logical trick to this method, evaluating from the outside in. Doing so will force you into improving your thought process. Now, without dissecting life's situations, find what contains value. Try ranking them in terms of order. How many things in your life are important? And by important, I mean something that is perhaps irreplaceable or even opportunistic. I'll provide an example. Before successfully blogging, I had not fully committed to the online hustle. It was not until realizing via subconscious truth seeking that my vision would occur eventually. Initially, a balance of logicality and emotional restraint spawned the equation to my formula. You usually won't find answers unless you envision a purposeful event. There must be present some kind of attraction. And before dismissing your ability, please take into account that there is a connection between the desires and one's self. Another cliche statement implies that everything does happen for a reason, and thus the partaking of relative fashion can inquisitively adopt strengthening of the human psyche. Listen, you will make mistakes, but on your journey, the main concept lies within hindsight cleverly if you are enduring a struggle then readjust your outlook i'm not telling you to lose focus of your vision overall but as those who believed in their vision will attest visualization and action of course brings fulfillment moreover just believe in yourself that is all remember through effort and action comes improvement. With improvement matures success. So don't give up. Everything about building success begins with a belief. A weakening of thoughts generally stems likely results. However, be very careful of a multitude of factors. These factors do include your physical surroundings. Women are highly susceptible unto that of which the mind produces thoughts irregularly. Therefore, the conscious mind appropriates thought patterns digressive unto its psychological growth. And while every person is unique, the imbalance of logicality thus ensues 
incorporating the temperamental shift and the frequency of behavior. In essence, you hold within your ability to acquire the things desired. But how shall you gain if your logical ideology contrasts a stark polarity? Just remember the measure of your intended gain. Synchronous events will obstruct you. They will attempt to rob you of opportunity. But as long as you embrace ownership of your thoughts and actions, you will likely remain primarily in control of your perceived destiny. Faithfully, throughout the course of the application, the method will become apparent. Thank you.